Hello, welcome to Easy Crypto with Mimic. I'm your host, Richie. And today I'm here with uh, Basti and Philip, blockchain engineers of the team. How are you guys? Okay, you. Doing great, thanks. Hey, uh, amazing. So we're going to be talking today about uh, Nimic proof of stake, the implementation, uh, the upcoming transition, and uh, what is the current status. So Philip, to kick things off, uh, can you update us on the current status of the Nimic proof of stake implementation? Sure. So the, the implementation is finished. The, the, the client is feature complete. Everything that we want to have in there is implemented. Um, we did make some more changes or some improvements to the uh, punishment scheme, how we keep validators in line and make sure that they always behave uh, as they should be behaving. Uh, but all of this is, uh, is finished and we are now making sure that everything works as expected. Right? So we are in the quality uh, assurance uh, phase, we're testing a lot um, um, and the, we just want to make sure that before we release the code, it's actually bulletproof and uh, works as we uh, intended it to be. Um, and yeah, so we are basically about to start the migration process or the, 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 the steps that lead up to the migration process. Um, but maybe I can also talk about this in some other questions, I guess. No, I mean, that, uh, that encompasses perfectly. Uh, quality assurance is the name of the game. Um, that is what currently it's all about. It's making sure that everything that we already have works just like it is supposed to. Um, and basically getting getting rid of all the like, kings and whatnot that are still in there. So, Okay, and to start digging deeper, what is your basic, what is your current focus uh, in the project? Sure. Um, so. My current focus, as has been for most of the development phase, is the microblock production. That is uh, pretty much what I was focusing on for the entire time, or for most of the time that I worked in the core team. Um, and that currently is also still the case. So um, microblock production works quite well, but there's definitely things to improve, also some edge cases to be treated um, that I'm currently still implementing. Um, that should uh, commence very, very soon. Uh, and then it is to make sure that microblock production is obviously uh, correct and does what it's supposed to do, uh, but also is performant enough so that it doesn't hold back the entire chain uh, for a significant period of time. That is going to be certainly my next focus um, because whenever we can produce microblocks with sub-second uh, block times, but then a microblock comes around and it takes a long time, that is, uh, that is not going to be sufficient. So. Um, efficiency uh, as well as robustness is, uh, robustness is going to be the next couple of steps for me, uh, in particular for microblock production. Okay, nice. And uh, in general, what are like moving forward? What are the key tasks left to accomplish before the transition to to proof of stake? The key task is, is going to be uh, coming up with a comprehensive test framework that ensures that the client is, is working correctly, right? So we, we want to have uh, a sufficiently high level of confidence that the, the client implementation is correct, that the protocol will behave as, as designed. Uh, and for that, we just need to do a lot, a lot, a lot of testing, right? And um, this is also what the current phase is all about. Uh, as soon we are, we are also going to open up the, the bug bounty program to the public uh, for the full code base, which is also going to help with uh, identifying issues that, that uh, we still have in there. Um, uh, we are also uh, doing some scaling tests at the moment. So we are trying to, to push the, the network to its limits, run with the maximum number of validators that the protocol supports, 512 and then also really um, put a lot of load on the, on the network to see if it, if it holds up and keeps the, the performance that we wanted to have. Um, what else are we testing? Yeah, but that is, the, for the most part, that is what it's about. It's about like taking the, also the test case that we currently have and expanding on those as much as we can to like get the coverage to be as exhaustive as possible for the entire code base. 
but then also thinking uh, up like new ways of testing maybe where we can maybe produce a specific setup that we can where we can push the um, the protocol to its limits to really see how it behaves on the like fringes of what is possible here um, and these kind of scenarios are hopefully going to uh, provide us with quite some insight in as to where there might be possible uh, improvements that we can make to uh, keep the performance up to where we want it to be. I think that is going to be a very important uh, topic for the next couple of weeks. And do you think the integration with the wallet, for example, is going to produce new, uh, new tasks for you or something new that you need to work on or that is already? I mean, I can see that the uh, integration with the wallet maybe produces some requirements that Frontend would have that currently are not fulfilled in a way that uh, they would like it to be, you know. Uh, I can see that happening. Some of them we may be able to uh, to get to them. Uh, some others might be like too computationally expensive or uh, maybe even unfeasible. We don't know. So far, uh, at least as to my knowledge, um, they are sufficiently equipped uh, to fulfill whatever the wallet needs to fulfill in terms of tasks. So I, at the current state, I do not expect this to like provide any new uh, or missing uh, features that we still need to implement. Mm, that's great, actually. Okay, and then involved in our community, how can NIMIC supporters contribute to the upcoming process of you know the migration, hardening, the bug bounty program? Uh, also, I think the CKP ceremony. And right, you basically mentioned those. Uh, that is that is exactly what we want them to do um, so uh, run a validator in testnet um, make it make it break if you can uh, provide us with the bug report so we can fix it if there is one um, obviously uh, but then also uh, going forward there will be migration tests uh, where we are going to test the process from for getting the 1.0 chain uh, into a NIMIC proof of stake. And these tests will be uh, performed on the NIMIC testnet and the, it will include all of the uh, um, procedures leading up to it, namely the validator registration, the pre-staking. So if you're interested in those, uh, we will announce them uh, well in advance so that you can take and participate uh, in those tests. Uh, and those are certainly going to be, uh, or like participation in those is certainly going to be appreciated for sure. I mean, developers uh, and security researchers are definitely invited to join the participate in the bug bounty program, which we are going to open uh, uh, soon for the whole code base. Right now, it's only it's, it is only covering the zero knowledge proof component. But the full code base is now ready to be reviewed by external researchers, uh, and we encourage everybody to also participate in that. Uh, we haven't defined all the bounty levels yet, but this is something that we are going to do very soon. And then also, as you already mentioned, um, we uh, need to do a ceremony to derive the, the keys for the zero knowledge proofs. Uh, and this also uh, requires community participation to ensure that this key setup that we do is actually secure and that uh, none of the toxic waste that is produced during this uh, generation process is, is kept around. So the more participants, the better. And um, you don't have to be a developer to do that. It basically just involves uh, downloading, uh, registering for the ceremony, downloading a client and running it at the right point in time. So um, I think everybody can participate in that as well. Yeah, there should be an announcement uh, already be out there or soon to be out there um, uh, showing how you can register for that. And if, if you're interested, uh, it's a pretty cool thing to do. Uh, register and participate in that. Cool, cool. Thanks a lot. And on on the other end of the spectrum, what the, what do users need to do to prepare for for this? Like any users that just want to, for example, participate in staking, do they need to you know do something before the transition? Uh, what do you think this process will look like for those users? So generally, users don't have to do anything. Right, so there's no action required by users of the NIMIC network to migrate their coins to the new chain. This will all be done completely automatically, right? So there's nothing that users have to do in order to prepare for that hard fork uh, or for that upgrade. Um, but of course, we, um, we would invite everybody to already 
uh, stake their coins or to register their validator, pre-register their, their validator such that when the migration actually occurs, we already have a, a nicely seeded Genesis block in terms of having sufficient stake and uh, having a, 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 a good set of validators to kick the new network off. Mm -hmm. And this is something that uh, the pre-staking, the pre-registration is going to take place before the activation of the new network. Yes. And uh, the validator pre-registration is also something that is, is going to start in the next few weeks. Um, so yeah, in, in terms uh, of preparing for this migration, participating in the pre-staking, I think is a good idea for, for everybody. Uh, but it is not necessary uh, in order to have your coins on the on the migrator chain. Okay, but cool. So basically, just I open the wallet after the transition and and I'm part of the new chain. Yes. Importantly, also the wallet is going to go and fully migrate to the 2.0 chain as well. So the for the user, the transition should be completely seamless and nothing uh, needs to be done on their end. They don't need to like update something, they don't need to generate new keys, it's going to be completely seamless and the wallet is going to provide them with basically all their needs uh, as they used to. Perfect. Okay, and um, maybe looking ahead a little bit uh, uh, after the transition, what do you think is next? Is this like, is this update like the start of a new domain of, of, of NIMIC, like new tasks for you guys to start tackling in the core team, you know, in, in proof of stake? So to, to be fully transparent here, currently the entire focus of the team is on delivering NIMIC proof of stake. So the uh, discussions about what we are going to do next, um, they have, they'll have to wait until the delivery is done. So uh, all of our focus is currently strictly on delivering and getting this out there and getting this done. Um, so. All of the all of the things that you could think of uh, of doing next, like for a potential like next iteration of the protocol, are going to be speculative, and thus we are probably not uh, in a better place to not indulge too much on um, like talking about these. Um, but discussions obviously will be had once the time is ripe for a discussion like that. I mean, in, in terms of domain, the, the new protocol is clearly still positioned as a, as a payment protocol, right? And this has been uh, our focus uh, since the beginning. And this is also not going to shift with the release of a new protocol. But of course, once we have that uh, on the road, uh, it frees up a lot of resources uh, on the team. So we will definitely have um, some space uh, to think about where we can take NIMIC next and how we can uh, improve uh, NIMIC and the NIMIC ecosystem further. Maybe even by expanding into new domains or by looking for more interesting or other use cases that maybe complement uh, what we are doing right now. Uh, but yeah, as Basti said, I mean, uh, right now we can only speculate on what this is going to be. But for sure, we are, we are going to spend a lot of time uh, on thinking about this once we have uh, released uh, 2.0 to have stake. Okay guys, thanks a lot. So um, um, subscribe if you want to see more updates like this one. Uh, thanks a lot for joining. Uh, Basti, Philip. Thanks, Richard. Thanks for having us. And say goodbye, I guess. Bye-bye. Take care, bye-bye.